Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Here I've got a scene with a particle emitter and if I hit play you can see that the particles are traced using this tracer here. And I've got a flower spline here and I want these particles to follow that spline. But how can this be done? It's actually very easy. Let's pause the animation and let me introduce you to a new force object that was added with Cinema 4D release 21. So let's go to simulate forces field force that's the new force let's create one of these and here you can see the options and the special thing about this force is that you can use the field list to create custom forces so let's drag and drop the flower spline into the field list here select it and in the remapping tab let's bring up the minimum value also to 100 percent and if we hit play now you can see that well something is happening here but we need to adjust the field force object a bit. First of all, we need to adjust the velocity type because right now this force is just added to the initial particle speed. But we want the particles really to follow the spline and therefore we need more control. So let's adjust the velocity type from add to velocity to change direction. And what this will do is you get complete control over the direction of the particles or the dynamic objects, but the speed of the particles is still defined in the particle emitter. So let's hit play now. And you see that there's already some, well, circular movement going on. Let's go back to frame zero here. And what we need to do is to move the particle emitter from this position here to some position on the spline, like here. Hit play again. And you can see that it already works pretty well. So maybe let's adjust the scene length to 200 frames here we go so here in the end you see that the particles are going off the spline and therefore we need to push them back somehow so let's go to the field force object and let's create another copy of the flower spline here in the field list select it and again let's bring up the minimum value here to 100 percent and in the layer tab here we adjust the distance mode to be radius Let's play it from the beginning and now you see that the particles are pushed towards the spline but of course they don't move along the spline anymore because we are completely overriding the along the spline movement here. So let's bring down the opacity maybe to 5% and now you can see that we get a mix of these two. So the particles follow the spline but they will also be pushed a little bit towards the spline and this way you can have a lot of control over the particle movement because you can make them follow along a spline thanks for watching if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment and subscribe